A sonographer is a healthcare professional who uses sound waves to create diagnostic images of the human body. And not only are you taking images of the body, you're also collecting and providing information to the interpreting physician so that they can provide differential diagnoses to a problem that someone's having. As a sonographer, you are the doctor's eyes. You are the one finding pathology. You're the one finding anything wrong with the patient. Throughout their program, the students are given multiple opportunities to be in all different types of practice settings so that at the end of the program, they can seek out a setting that works best for them. Students tend to work in large hospital centers, smaller hospital centers, outpatient centers, and places where there are specialties performed. I chose sonography as a profession because I wanted the patient care experience. I wanted to work in a hospital, but I didn't want to be a nurse or a doctor or you know go to extra school. And ultrasound is a great healthcare field where you don't have to do some of those things that nurses would have to do. I come from an OB background, so it was very rewarding to be a part of the patient's lives. You really have an impact on them, uh, even if you don't realize it, so that made it rewarding for me. In a profession where you are engaging with patients all the time, you need to be able to have good communication skills and to be able to set patients at ease, explain to them the type of procedures that they're going to have. We have to think about a plan A and a plan B. Things don't often go as scripted. And so critical thinking is essential in sonography. Going through school as a sonography student, you should definitely take advantage of any opportunity you get, as in if you're able to scan, always put your hand on the probe and scan the patient, even if you have no idea what you're looking at. Practice makes perfect. Take advantage of scanning on patients while you're working under a tech, because you're still a student, you're always learning. You are not tied to the clinical setting. There are um, definitely other avenues to pursue. Like myself, I went into a nonprofit organization. We review images and applications for practice accreditation of ultrasound and do other quality initiatives. The best piece of advice I can give to someone wanting to become a sonographer is to research it and also follow a sonographer. Call the hospital, see if the sonographers are willing to have a shadow for the day. I definitely get a lot of questions asking me if this is a female dominant career. Realistically it is mostly female dominant, but I feel like a lot of males should get into this field as well. I don't see the difference between having a male tech compared to a female tech. You'll still be able to scan a patient no matter what. I've been a lead sonographer in one institution and we've hired all students. So, you know, make a good impression when you're in your clinical settings and you can most likely have a job when you come out. This is the perfect time to join the field because overall employment of diagnostic medical sonographers is projected to grow 17% by 2026. Going into sonography, there's always constant learning. Every day I'm learning a new thing and that's absolutely what I love about my job. I think the most rewarding part of being a sonographer is that it's a new challenge every day. You never get bored and if you ever feel like you're not giving back to the profession, you can change fields. It's an evolving field, things are growing and you're always learning. At the end of the day, if you like to be challenged and you want to do something different, ultrasound is definitely the field to go into.